Hey guys, I'm back. Um, this time around, I'm going to show you the one that I promised last time, which is the paint tray system that I came up with. Um, what this is, and I'll show you this one, this one is actually the prototype, or the first one that I did. But this is a two-tier 50 paint paint tray. I'll go ahead and try and spin this around so you can see what it looks like from the side. There we go. Oops. Let me give you that a little... So it's a two-tier paint tray, holds 50 paints, 25 per level. Um, it's designed as a fairly shallow depth, so the whole thing is, let's see, what, let's see if we do a quickie check, is about seven inches from front to back. Um, so it gives you a nice, it doesn't take up a lot of space on your desk as far as height. Turn this one to the side so you can see and try and get that whole thing in there. Let's see, I've got our trusty ruler and you can see that to the top, and I don't know if that's coming out on your side, you may not be able to see it, it comes out to just under 12 and a half inches tall. So it's a pretty compact design, the nice thing with it being that height, you can get a lot of paints in a small area. Um, so that's kind of the two-tier tray and just to show you what it looks like with paint in it we will grab mine or section of mine I should say that I'm using for myself there we go I'll try and get that one up there you can see that I've got all of my paints in there well a section of my paints in there I should say but it does holds 50 different paints and it actually there's a little bit of movement in the trays trays are actually screwed on so there's a little bit of movement in them to make it easier to get to the tray to the paints at the back so if I come down here to the bottom both trays do move a little so that way if I need to get the paints at the back I've got a little bit more room for my hand but just to show you, let me turn it to the side so we've got the 50 in there and here's an example of the movement so I can tilt that one down or I can tilt it up so it gives you a little bit more room and actually the the newest design of this or the next build of it allows the, the top tray to actually go completely horizontal so that way you can get even more room to get to the tray at the back and the same thing with the tray at the back both trays will actually tilt from this angle that they're at so they can go from here all the way to flat which will give you plenty of access to your different to your different paints um, it's pretty simple design one nice other nice thing with it is you noticed earlier that all the all of the paints and I'll see if you can see that there a little hole at the bottom so if you are one of those people that stores paints like I do stores them upside down or is using paints other than GW's like some of the um, some of the dropper bottle paints they'll actually fit in there and they will sit and they'll stay in place um, but just as an example the new style GW bottles which are basically the foundation bottles do fit in there fine and they fit both ways so for these kinds you definitely want to put them in upside down so you can actually see but even then it holds them in there pretty nicely and I actually do offer the trays custom fit for whichever paint you want this one is sized for GW style paints using the old bottles but we can also or I can also do them for the to fit perfectly with the new style bottles or anybody else's line of paint it's just a matter of when you're ordering them or when you're looking at them telling me which paints you want to put in it and we can mix and match so if you wanted a tray a bottom tray that was one manufacturer and a top tray that was another you're fine other things that I've got though see how I did the one I was like well what do you do if you have other paints well I did this I'll tilt down so you can see it there we go move in a little bit this is another paint tray. This is just the tray by itself. What's nice about these are if you don't have the space or not needing that many, this is actually the one I use with my airbrush mainly. So I've got enough space for my airbrush paints and you notice that it holds the bigger bottles as well as the smaller bottles um, without too much problem. I mean it's got a fairly nice tilt angle so that I can get this thing, let's see, can we get it to about, I think, I mean, I could probably put this at a full 90 and not worry about the paints falling out, which is kind of nice. 
but it's a nice one. It'll hold 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 paints. So if you're using it for like this one, like I said, this one is set up for my airbrush. Getting 20 paint pots in one space is really nice. Um, I don't have to worry about, okay, what am I going to do with them? And it's just a nice, small, compact paint tray. Fairly simple design. This one also, um, you can do the same things that they do with the other one where I can get them in different sizes. This one is a little bit larger, whereas this is only about, whereas the original tray is only about 10 inches wide. This one is about 12 inches wide, so it's about 2 inches wider to accommodate the additional paints. But by that same token, because it is shorter, I mean, you're only looking at about a 4 inch deep piece, you can fit quite a few paints in these, and they don't take up a lot of space in your desk. If you're the kind of person that does project setups for your paint where you're painting and you just pull out the colors you need for a project, that's where a tray like this really comes in handy because you put in just the colors you need, you've got more than enough space for them. When you're done with them, you put them away. Uh, that's really it for both paint trays. Once again, both trays are available um, for the various sizes of, for the various size bottles of paint. We can also do custom engraving on them if you wanted on the on, for example, on this one, there is a side panel where if you really wanted to, we can we can design and put something there for you, or even on the top pieces. So if you wanted a tray that's labeled, for example, you wanted to label a tray airbrush paints or metallics or what have you, you'd have them all labeled, and it makes it a little easier to keep track of what you have. So that's really it on the different paint trays. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull that one forward, and I'll try and bring this other one back out. If I have enough room to fit them both up there without pulling my banner down. But there you go. Both sets of paint trays, as I mentioned, um, they are available from Burning Designs. You can check them out on the on the web or on our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com forward slash burn in designs. Um, there will also be a link in the in the notes for this one. Alright guys, take care.